hip fractures are a very serious sociosanitary problem in world countries. Since the 1950s, orthogeriatric units have introduced improvements in the care of geriatric patients admitted to hospital with hip fractures. A total of 1 million of hip fractures were diagnosed in 1990s, and this figure is expected to increase to over 6 million in 2050. 80% of the fractures in women and 50% in men occurs at ages over 70 years old, and 90% of the fractures are a result of falls from standing height. The mortality rate can reach 10% during hospital admission and 30% during the following a period of 12 months, and only 50% of those who survive recover the functional level they had before the accident. A recent ed editorial considers that geriatric medicine improves our knowledge of the extra-traumatology factors that complicate in the patient's course and influence the outcome of the treatment. The clinical and social complexity of elderly patients demands interdisciplinary approach and regarding in this correct assessment of the previous functional situation and maximum recovery of that uh, situation are of vital importance and the actions of the orthogeriatric teams thus extend beyond the hospital setting, expanding the benefits of integral geriatric care. The orthogeriatric care models agree on the suitability of care provided by interdisciplinary teams with knowledge of geriatrics, the advisability throughout the work process, pain control, avoidance of the appearance of worsening of orthogeriatric syndromes, and correct continuity of care after hospital discharge. Such orthogeriatric management has been validated by a recent meta-analysis. However, they are still issues requiring a study and analysis, such as the optimum thromboprophylactic protocols, correct analgesic regimens, the assessment and the treatment of cognitive impairment and nutritional conditions during the hospital period, the improvement of patient mobility, and post-surgical rehabilitation. The present review aims to offer answers to some of the uncertainties regarding the orthogeriatric care of patients with hip fracture and attempts to clarify which measures have improved the management outcomes. Orthogeriatric units improve the quality standards of care of geriatric patients with hip fracture, such as survival and functional recovery rates, thereby also reducing the length of stay and cost. Some clinical trials and meta-analysis published over the last five years support that evidence. There are still gaps in knowledge regarding specific cl clinical issues, such as the best approach to pain, the choice of certain surgical procedures, hemoglobin thresholds for blood transfusions, or measures to reduce the incidence of blood transfusions during hospital admissions. Future studies are needed to help answer these questions.